Thank you for returning to our promotion and tenure process overview. Again, my name is Janet Dufek and I'm the Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs. In this particular module, we're going to talk very briefly about tenure as a concept. So this will be a little more esoteric as opposed to factual and, and uh, process driven. So what is the definition of tenure? It can be defined as either a noun or a verb. In the noun form, tenure is defined as guaranteed permanent employment after a probationary period, which fits well with our academic concept of how we deal with tenure. In the verb or action tense, uh, tenure is the act or process of giving someone a permanent per position. So you are granted tenure. What is tenure? It's giving someone a permanent position. Now, uh, as I share with you some of the ideas of the concept of uh, promotion tenure, I would like to acknowledge that much of the information that I'm sharing with you is adapted from the UNLV Faculty Senate Spring 2021 Promotion and Tenure Forum. So this gives you a sense of the fact that across campus, we offer such trainings. That being said, uh, what is tenure and what does tenure lead to? Tenure is a guarantee of academic freedom. That is the sole basis, that is the root cause, that is the foundational aspect of tenure. It is a reward for faculty excellence and at UNLV, it is excellence in teaching or in research. It is a statement of confidence and continued excellent performance from your peers. The expectation is you will continue to perform at the level that you have. And it also embodies an expectation of increased responsibilities academically. These are in uh, areas of mentoring, of shared governance, of university, national, international leadership. Uh, once you're tenured, you take on a new role. You become a leader. Again, adapted from uh, UNLV's Faculty Senate uh, P&T Forum, what tenure is not or does not lead to includes free reign to do whatever you please. This just, tenure does not allow you to be a water hose, right? Uh, it does not lead to protection for non-productive faculty. There are checks and balances in the system that suggest that if you check out as a tenured faculty, you can in fact lose your position. It is not a guarantee of financial security or independence nor is it an entitlement. Tenure is earned. It does not allow you uh, the aspects that I have outlined here. A question you might ask is, can tenure be terminated? And the answer is, unfortunately, yes, it can be terminated. It is an in definite academic appointment that can be terminated for various reasons. Those being cause, in other words, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Extraordinary surf, uh, excuse me, circumstances, which typically are the norm for tenure termination. These include uh, financial exigency within the state or the governing body or program termination. So I borrowed this graphic from the life of professor.com and I give them uh, acknowledgement for this. It provides a kind of a comical piece on tenure and promotion and you can view that. I'm not going to go over it specifically, but the uh, AAUP, which is the American Association of University Professors, uh, their primary purpose is to safeguard academic freedom and that's what they define tenure as. 
Free inquiry, free expression, and open dissent are critical elements for student learning and for advancement in knowledge. And the AAUP uh, embodies these concepts. That being said, historical trends relative to percent of tenured faculty, uh, which the modern concept originated in 1940 through the AEUP particular document that was specified, in uh, 70, the early 70s, about 80% of uh, faculty at academic institutions were tenured. 93 to 94, that reduced to 56%. 2018, 19, 45%. 21 to 22, an estimation from the AAUP is that the, the uh, current percentage of tenured faculty at uh, AAU institutions is down to just over 20%. So please remember that tenure is not an entitlement, and times may be changing. That being said, let us move on in our next module, which will deal with the standards for evaluation and how you will be evaluated relative to your tenure and or promotion case. Again, I thank you for your, your attention and ask you to reach out to our office with any specific questions. Thank you.